All right, it is Friday and that means FNA Friday and this is part three of the Demo Reel series and today it's all going to be about receiving Demo Reel feedback. All right, so we talked about how to structure your reel, what to put on there, the content of your reel, and how you need to kind of tailor it to each company, all those detailed things. But now, when you're done with that reel, you need feedback. You need to know if your reel is okay, if the shots are working, if the flow is right, and if everything is coming together nicely. So here are my recommendations in terms of where to ask, what to ask, and how to take in the feedback. First, ask feedback from regular people, not just animators. Go ask your mom, <laughs> go ask your parents, your friends, people, random people, I don't know, to show them your reel so that you get a general impression. Because you don't want to go straight to animators because they're going to go, on oh, frame 17, your overlap is wrong. That's fine. That's for later. But as a whole, you want to bring it to people who will say, that's not funny. I don't get this. Is this supposed to be sad? Like you want general feedback if the shot is working in terms of the general vibe, the emotion, just the general feel you want from the shot. That will give you a much better, broader impression. But of course, put your reel online. So put it on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram, on forums, wherever you can to get general feedback from animators and artists. So it's a bit more detailed and a bit more specific, but everybody will have an opinion. So it's going to be up to you to filter all that feedback. Because if you get 10 different notes, that doesn't mean that you have to address every single note. Sometimes the note is maybe not that good or not that relevant or maybe too much work. You also have to kind of look at your time constraints. So if you have 10 different pieces, you're gonna have to pick and choose. But if nine out of 10 are telling you the same things, well, then there's a pattern and you're going to recognize, hmm, maybe I should address that note. I would also recommend to bring your reel to places like CTN or SIGGRAPH or I don't know, wherever GDC, whatever your type of reel is and you need the feedback that you need from people, just go to the specific places. Now, I know this is tricky. This might be a location problem. You can't travel there. It's too expensive. But if you can shoot the professionals in a one on one situation, try to take advantage of that opportunity. Now, also, that being said, once you're there, everybody wants feedback from professionals. So you might be on this some severe time crunch. So if if you are at the very end of a line and you show your reel and you don't think you have enough time for the person to look at every single shot, what I would ask is, what is the worst shot on my reel? What do I need to cut? Because again, your reel is going to be judged by your worst piece, potentially, hopefully not, but that can happen. So if you show the reel and just watch it once, just go, what should I cut? And then you get the worst offender out and then you keep working on it. That being said, don't be precious. So if you worked on the shot for like six months and you love it, but the overall feedback is this is cool, but this needs to get out. Don't be precious. Don't hang on to your shots. I mean, it's kill your babies, kill your darlings, whatever all the sayings are. But if you get all the feedback and it's from someone that's professional that says, you know, this is working, but this is gonna, I don't know, this is a repeat or just doesn't quite work. You have to really pay attention to that and then take your shot out, even if you really, really like it. Because why else? Are you getting feedback? So go general in notes, then a bit more specific online. If you can get one-on-one -on -one feedback from professionals, that's great. So you hone down all that detailed feedback to really massage and kind of finesse your final product. Now, once you have that, you send it out to the companies. And obviously you will hope for feedback from those companies. So what I would do is maybe every six months, this is very subjective, all this kind of depends on the market, depends on the company and all that stuff. This is a bit more nebulous, but I would say maybe every six months. I mean, you can chime in in the comments if uh, professionals have other opinions, but I wouldn't send in like every month in terms of here's my reel, hmm, I didn't hear back, here's my reel again, and so on. So just don't pester people. So I would send something and um, I don't know, three to six, I would say six months, I don't know. It really all depends on your reel. I wouldn't send the same thing. So when you resend it, your reel has to be new. Maybe one shot from the last reel that's maybe fantastic and you put that somewhere in the middle as a reminder, hey, I did this. But overall, if you resend your reel, you gotta have updates. So you constantly work on your shots, make them better and then replace. And again, ask for feedback. This is a constant loop of adding things, fixing, asking for feedback, replacing, resending. And you have the company information in terms of an HR person or whoever is gonna look at your reel. I think it's okay to ask once. Hey, did you get my reel? Everything's okay. Did I miss something? Everything else you need? And if they say that's okay, then let it be. Just wait for them to hire you. And if you hear nothing, well then, you know, they probably have their reasons. Either the reel is not good enough yet, they don't have time, they didn't have time to look at it at all yet. There are many, many reasons that are out of your control. Again, I would just update your reel, keep working on it, and resend new material. But out of all of this, since the topic is feedback, really pay attention to the feedback and be open to getting the feedback and receiving criticism. I know it's difficult, you worked on those shots, they're personal shots, you put in your, your blood, sweat and tears, and then you hear from someone who doesn't know you at all, that doesn't know how much work you put in behind those shots, says, nah, I don't like it, take it out. 
that can be tough to hear. But still, I wouldn't start defending your shot where someone takes time again. It could be at CTN, they look at your reel, they gave you all that feedback, and then you go, yeah, but you see what I was intending to do in this shot. It's fine, whatever you intended did not read with this specific person. You might argue, well, maybe it's this person, but everybody else got it, fine. But you really have to be open to feedback, but you have to be open to tough feedback where they might tell you you're not ready yet, or this shot needs a lot more work. And that's just part of being an animator. You're gonna work on something, you're gonna show it to someone, and that's something someone is going to have opinions. And speaking of opinions, all of this, this list, that's just my opinion, it's very subjective. But from what I hear, what I've gone through, these are kind of the points that I would consider somewhat important. Obviously, I'm open to more feedback, comments are open, anything you wanna to add to this list. But generally, I would say, generally, ask generally for broad notes, then dive into more detailed, detailed notes to really refine your reel, be open to feedback, be ready to cut shots, even if you loved it, maybe cut it in half or cut it completely. Whatever it takes to stream line your reel and make it just absolutely the most powerful thing people will see and want to make people hire you. Now speaking of presentation, that is going to be the next topic. It's going to be demo reel presentation in real life and online. I have a lot more different detailed things about that. Next chapter is going to be demo reel expectations because that's a whole other topic about sending your reel and expecting, oh, I'm going to get in my job right away, but that's a whole different thing. I want to talk about that. And part six, potentially the last one, is going to be demo reel interviews. The do's and don'ts, again, what to expect during the interview, all those things that you should consider, questions you should ask, things you should not ask and so on. So for now, I'm envisioning six parts of this series. If there's more and I get more feedback, maybe comments, I can add something more, maybe like a recap or something. I'm open to anything. But for now, that is it. And thank you for watching. As always, you know all this. Subscribe and like, do whatever you want to do, whatever helps you. I upload almost every day. So subscribe and hit that bell button if you want to get notifications about all my uploads. And I will see you next week. Thanks for watching.